Hi, beautiful. You look stunning. Thank you for being here and gracing me with your presence. Today we're watching people give themselves curtain bangs. Curtain bangs are one of the easier things to do to your own hair. Honestly, if you look up like one tutorial and kind of just copy what they do, you could probably do it yourself. Like it's really not that intricate or difficult. You know what, I guess <laughs> for most of you guys, it probably is. I take that back, but I kind of don't. It's easy, but not that easy. But I guess it's easy for me because I'm a hairstylist, but I guess it's not maybe not easy for all of you. In my head, it's like, whoa, how could people not be able to do this? But I get it. You just need to follow the directions. It should work out. So let's see if any of these people today can successfully cut their curtain bangs, or let's just see how wrong it goes. Let's do it. First up, we have a video by Jessica Godinez, and this is called Fail DIY Curtain Bangs, courtesy of Brad Mondo. Ha ha ha. She's following my tutorial and I failed her. Okay, let's watch it. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna try curtain bangs. I wanna try it myself. I hope I can do it. If I'm not able to achieve it, hair grows. That's a great attitude, because based off this title, I feel bad. Hopefully it's not that bad. Hopefully you're being dramatic in the title. You're gorgeous, so it'll be great no matter what, you know? Sometime last year, I had a hair mishap where this part of my hair just decided to die <laughs> while I was bleaching. So thank God it has already grown out. It has grown longer up to my chin. She said she has a lot of breakage in the front of her hair from dyeing it like she does um, And so she wants to cut curtain bangs to kind of conceal that deadness Which I think is a great idea. We don't need that dead hair in the front of your head. It's just not necessary Take the bangs back about two or three inches and I'm just gonna use a scrunchie to take the rest of the hair back And then he says the tip of the eyebrow. So I guess this line is that the tip of my eyebrow yes it is and then we just tie the rest of my hair back hey i gave pretty good advice i said go two or three inches back make a little triangle on each side separate at the top of your eyebrow like okay <laughs> and then he says to get ready to wet the hair so that's exactly what i'm gonna do i have a spritzer ready yes we're wetting the hair I'm already scared. Girl, your hair is not wet. I really try. I really try and help you. But you don't listen. Wet your hair. I mean, like, actually wet. Not just, like, one little piece, you know? Oh, we're going for... Whoa, okay. I don't know if I said to do this, but maybe I did. I wish I had a better pair of scissors. Obviously, this is not for cutting hair. I love that we're using kitchen scissors. <laughs> it definitely will cut through your hair. But when it cuts through your hair, you're never going to get a clean cut. You're going to get split ends because it's serrated because the edge of those scissors are not meant to cut hair okay you need a pair of these babies you know just a little it's a kitchen pair of scissors oh my gosh i think i cut it too short we're off to a rocky start not exactly the same. It actually seems to go a little like boom and like boom on this side and this side kind of goes straight. So we could fix that, but I'm sure we're not going to. <laughs> Make sure that the sides are the same length. Now we're gonna add a bevel. He said to take it this way and then I cut. Oh, 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 no. Should have practiced one time on some on somebody else first before we did it on ourselves or like, I don't know, on a mannequin, I don't know. I have more mannequins than I will ever need in my entire life, but people don't usually have that. So I have to understand. Um, what, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what she should have <laughs> Uh, well, so here's the thing. Her over direction was great. This is gonna give her that nice like bevel on the ends that goes from short to long. You know, she's cutting too short. And second of all, I would have pulled the hair farther to the side. <laughs> We'll be fixing that later on. Hey, she did get a bevel in there. Like it looks short to long. Like I, I'm getting, I'm getting curtain bang vibes, but they look a little short. I'll just do the same thing on the other side. And he says, if the moisture goes away, just add more water. Oh, let's over direct it more. This sounds me shorter. I already know it. We're cutting again. We're going, we're going in for more. It could be okay. It could be savable. I might have um, cut it. <laughs> too short. Kinda accepted that I was gonna mess it up. <laughs> oh my god, it definitely looks short. I feel like to curtain me enough. They're definitely too short, but they look really good on you. Like, do a front bang. Like, just blow them out forward. Like, they look really, 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 really good on you. I think this was like one of those moments where it wasn't supposed to happen, but it actually should have happened because it actually looks 
good i'm not mad we are on our way to see matt because i asked for his help so it's kind of wavy and it doesn't look so bad now it's a little bit blendy so we cut your hair length a little bit shorter so the gap is between the hair the shorter hair and the hair length is a little bit better and more blended and also just texturizing the front because it was very heavy and it was super like scissor marks in there so we just actually make it a little bit textured a little bit like more uh, softer around the face with so blend a little bit better it looks way better her hair looks amazing like i love that haircut that hairstyle is definitely you know fixed it a bit definitely needed some some um, texturizing which is what he did she sort of made a mistake but then it ended up being really awesome it looks so good hello I am back uh, my hair is tied simply because I don't know how to style it I tried curling it I didn't like how it looked curled I think I could put wax on the sides of the hair but i don't want to do that this is it is this it yes that is exactly the vibes you're giving me like 70s rock star it is so shaggy it is so cute and it looks amazing and i think you did a great job give yourself a little more credit next time up next we have a video by reem cordova and this is called attempting to give myself curtain bangs i think i failed i'll be the judge of that uh, why the f did I just wink? <laughs> why did I wink? We're gonna be attempting to cut my curtain bangs and I really hope you guys can come in this journey with me. <laughs> Let's get right on to cutting my curtain bangs, shall we? I'm excited for the curtain bangs. You know why? My hair is pretty much all one length and I feel like the curtain bangs are gonna really open up her face and give her those nice snatched cheekbones. It's gonna be good if she does it right. <laughs> no, we're not parting with a pen. We're just not. We can't do that today. Oh no, I think she drew on her face with the pen as well. When I watched that one guy, um, I think his name is Brad. I actually don't know, but. <laughs> Hi, my name is Brad. Nice to meet you. Welcome to the channel. I am indeed that guy that you watched. Okay, honestly, I don't know what the f I'm doing. Like, I swear to God. Are we literally taking a pen and drawing on our heads? What the f is this? <laughs> <laughs> Look at the pen on her face. I heard you can also do it with a razor. Okay, we can use a razor for sure. I'm down for that. A razor's a little bit easier, honestly, in my opinion, because it's just like your visual, more of a visual thing rather than like an over direction thing, with the, 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 you know? I feel like this is enough. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like that's a way. Take this piece out. What is the sectioning going on? Oh, thank God. I, I mean, the, the section went from here to, to her ears. We're gonna cut bangs from the top of your part to your ears. Why are we doing that? So obviously curtain bangs, you're supposed to cut them down. Down, okay. Yeah, sure. Oh, we're using one of these razors. I thought you were using like an actual like hair cutting razor. No. <laughs> this is just as bad as using like kitchen scissors because it's just gonna tear your hair apart. You're not gonna get a clean line at all. Maybe that was too short. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was actually a perfect length. Okay, you know what? We're gonna straighten it. Hopefully that does something. Oh, praise. I did tell you in my video to wet your hair. So apparently you're not following my video at all because I didn't, this is not what I taught you. Don't even try to tell me that you watch my video and learn something from it because clearly not. I mean, I'm glad you're straightening it um because cutting it with your natural wave <laughs> i don't think it's the best idea um at least wet your hair wetting your hair would have been easier and better i will take what i can get you know wait i think i up we went for it we finally cut something we did it i don't know what we're freaking out about it actually looks pretty good oh that's a style <laughs> that's one of that's something you could definitely style it like that or not i think it's because i'm hooked on the idea that it, they're supposed to be long I, my favorite part is that she's styling the one side she cut before she even cuts the other side how are you gonna match them up evenly if one of them's curled and one of them's not where's the logic behind this where's the logic using her curled hair as a guide to cut the other side is my favorite part about this this side looks bad so we're gonna add a, another piece of hair and kind of see what we can do my hair smells fresh as shit and I have no clue why. Okay, this is the best we got. Okay. I'm pretty sure these are curtain bangs. <laughs> we're convincing yourself that they're curtain bangs. They are curtain bangs, I'd say. I'd say they're pretty curtain-y. One side looks very much different than the other. Curtain bangs are sisters, not twins. No, nobody says that. Um, they are definitely twins, but it's okay. For this time, they can just be sisters. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. This is such an ugly top. This one is an ugly top, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Okay, I think we might just have to end this video here you just see those little two bangs there i mean i can obviously tuck them in but if you guys do this hairstyle too you guys know that when you put 
put one strand out, it makes a difference. I just ruined my favorite hairstyle of all time. That is what happens, guys. I think they're fun. I think it's a fun addition. I don't think they were done per perfectly, but who cares? As long as, you know, they look they look good enough. I like the little shorter, uh, the curtain bang adds a little flavor to your hairstyle, you know? I like when you put your hair back and let the bangs fall forward. I'm into it. I don't think you completely failed. I think you need to stop being so hard on yourself and know that they look great. Okay, let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Ivy Lee. This is called DIY Curtain Bangs at Home. It turned out okay. Basically today, I will be giving myself curtain bangs. She has gorgeous hair. I'm a little nervous she's gonna do something a little scary to her hair and that's gonna regret it, but really pretty hair. I think curtain bangs would look so good on this girl too. Like it frames the face nicely. And that's what I love about curtain bangs. So I think it will look great if they're done decently. Not even great, just decently. This is how my hair looks like now. It's just straight cut, bleached and damaged. Okay, let me brush my hair to make sure the tangles are all out. I don't have like a small brush. In the salon they have like a small brush. I only have this. I'm gonna take an eyeshadow brush. I'm gonna use the end to like I'll pick it out. I think that's pretty smart, right? <laughs> The last girl used a pen. This girl's using an eyeshadow brush to section her hair. Guys, what the f Why does nobody own a comb? Are combs just obsolete? Like, why are we not? Why? Whatever, I guess this is fine. I'll guess I'll take it. Is that too much? Um, I feel like that's like way too much. It's not too much, but it's definitely uneven. Guys, I really don't know what I'm doing. I have clips. I'm gonna clip the rest of my hair back. So it doesn't get in the way. Why <laughs> is it different on both sides? It doesn't look symmetrical. This is where I want my bangs to be. Uh, no. I'm already f***ing up and I barely even start like this part is not cute. That's okay. That's better. Okay. I just restarted. Woo. We did it. We're going for it. All right. So I have a small triangle inside my bigger triangle. She said that she's going to cut the hair at the edge of her nose. I'm going to cut like here first just so it's like shorter for me. And then she cuts it like upwards to her nose. Okay, point cutting, ah. Take even more hair and add it to the middle. So I'm just gonna take half of this and then this side too. The girl said to cut it to your lips. This is definitely an interesting way of cutting curtain bangs, I will say. I'm gonna make it a little bit longer than what I want it to be so that I can always go back and adjust it. And then the last one is to your chin. Okay, let's see how they look. I feel like I didn't cut enough. I mean, this is definitely one way of doing it. She continue to cut it diagonal to make it smoother. How do you do on this side? This is going pretty well. I feel like I need to make this thicker, so I'm going to add like another piece of hair to it. And I don't know if I'm gonna regret this or not. And then I'm gonna make this like longer, obviously, but like shorter than this one. Putting the clips back on. Oh God. I don't know. Oh, they're so cute. I'm just gonna keep snipping until I like it. Well, the hairstylist is shaking right now. Now the other side, the side I'm so bad at because I'm right-handed. How do I even do this? I'm just gonna cut this part first. My hair wasn't even that short. It is normal length. I just had like crazy long hair. Most people would leave their curtain bangs disconnected from the rest of their haircut. I think it's really important that you bring the curtain bangs into your haircut by adding some face framing layers down here, you know? Really kind of like cutting into the hair down here and connecting everything. Or else it just looks like a shelf, like boom, boom. You see, her bangs are like people like this. I don't hate it, but I don't think like it looks good. I can just literally go like this and they're gone. But then like, they're still there. I don't even know how to curl it. Mm, no. Okay, we're really, we're really going for it. I would have liked just a little more blending there. I feel like it's best to um, style bangs with a blow dryer actually. Not a curling iron, not a flat iron. Get it, get it that nice rounded blowout and that'll give you that like sweeping bang moment. Mm, no. She goes, mm, no. <laughs> I have bangs now. So that is it for the video, guys. I don't know if I like this or not. It wasn't perfect, all right? You need to blend a little more. Definitely make them a little more even on both sides. I saw a little bit of a difference between the two. Blend them into your length a little more. Style them a little bit better. You got it, girl, because these look fire on you. Minor changes would make a big difference, but I do like how they look a lot. Like, they look really fierce on you. It really opens up your face, and I love that. Not the worst job ever. Just not the best. Well, you know 
what? Nobody failed that bad today. I like the outcome of every single person's curtain bangs. Was it exactly what they wanted? Probably not, but I actually think it looked pretty good. Curtain bangs are just such an easy way to change up your look, and I think they're super fun. And if you haven't given them a try, maybe do it. Maybe go to a professional. Maybe do it at home if you're okay with the possibility of it not coming out that great. That's up to you. Hair is about having fun, and as long as you're having fun with it, hair grows back, and who the f cares? If you guys aren't already subscribed, make sure you do right down below. Hit the subscribe button. Also click the like button and the bell icon to be notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me everywhere else. Here are my social media handles. I'm literally everywhere at all times. Make sure you guys text me. This is my number. Yes, it really is connected to my phone. And yes, I'll be answering some of your messages if you text me right now. This will also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Check out my Live Your Extra Life merch. It is so f cute. I wear it every day of my life when I'm not filming. It is so comfy. You can shop it. Link below. Check out my my hair care line and my hair color line at xmondo hair also link below for you or you can get some hair inspo on our instagrams at xmondo hair for hair care and xmondo color for color maybe dabble in some new stuff i'm wearing super red and super purple mixed together on my hair it is a little faded out but it's still looking fierce today's instagram shout out goes to julien so i have three of your amazing hair colors and recently did red yay super red we have the same hair color but now i want to try the purple do you think i could just put purple on top of this i also do the gorgeous blue thinking if i I did that, it would go purple. What do you suggest? Thank you. If you're looking to go super purple, I would recommend putting the blue over your red hair. Blue and red make purple, and you're totally on track with that. So I would suggest maybe doing super blue with like a little bit of purple mixed in it, and it should give you a great purple color. Your hair looks fabulous, and thank you for using my color. I appreciate you, and good luck. And I would love to see a photo if you end up changing your hair color to super purple. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.